Hello again, SEC viewers, sports producer David Skyler for joining you for what will be the last, but certainly not the least, of our Fab Four updates. And joining me today is North High School's Activities Director, Jed Helwig. Jed, thank you so much for being here with me. Hello, David, and thank you for having me on today. I appreciate it. Coming in hot with the nice North virtual background. I love it. So how have things been for you personally over the last few months? Well, personally, um, the, you know, every day is a new challenge. And uh, from a personal standpoint, I'm at home with my uh, supportive wife. We're a team. We have four uh, children at home. Uh, we have a uh, junior in high school, a freshman in high school, a fourth grader, and a first grader. So we are working constantly around the clock uh, with uh, distance learning, um, also with uh, balancing our, our own uh, you know, employment with uh, our personal lives. And, uh, you know, as a team, we make it work. Um, one person's on a Zoom meeting, the other person's helping with distance learning and vice versa. And so uh, I'm fortunate that we uh, have a great relationship and that our kids are uh, diving into this distance learning, uh, which is new to all of us. It is a busy group at the Hellwick House, it sounds like. So what's been the biggest challenge for you that you perhaps didn't even anticipate when we were going into this quarantine situation? You know, I think it's just grasping uh, uh, the, the, the mental health part of all of this and, and working through uh, the communication with coaches, families, uh, students and student athletes, the fine arts participants, and really uh, having those uh, conversations with them just about what, what's next? Because everybody's asking, what's next? Can we meet? Can we, uh, what can we do? And so we put this distance coaching learning plan together uh, for our uh, spring coaches and fine arts participants. Uh, every week we have a theme. Uh, I, I check in with the spring coaches uh, weekly, every Tuesday, and we talk about different things. This week's theme is character. And so we, we uh, kind of have a conversation around what that looks like. The head coaches then reach out to uh, the spring student athletes and they work on uh, different lessons. They've put some videos together to provide an opportunity to not only support uh, emotionally, socially, mentally, and physically. And so um, we're proud uh, from the North Activities uh, Office, both from an, a fine art standpoint and an athletic standpoint that we're following through uh, during this uh, tough time of the year. And on top of all that stuff you just mentioned, each week North has also continued to participate in the Be The Light MN movement. What has that gesture meant uh, both for you and for the high school? You know, we just want to recognize our, our community. Uh, we want to recognize the seniors that we're still with you. We're still in supporting you. And one of the other things is, is across North High, we have a, a bridge that goes from North High to a polar ridge. Uh, in Polar Ridge, I've had an opportunity to tour the facility. I had a colleague who had a father in that facility, and so I spent some time over there. And those lights uh, were given some light to not only our seniors of 2020, class of 2020, our spring student athletes, the community of North St. Paul and the, and the uh, uh, adults at Polar Ridge. And so, uh, and we've also worked in collaboration with other schools across the state to say, hey, we're, we're here with you, we recognize you, and we're gonna celebrate you in this way. That's awesome that it has benefited not only the students of the school, but in the community across the bridge, as you mentioned, around the state as well. For the North students that weren't seniors, looking ahead, uh, what kind of team activities can they expect to participate in when we get into the summer? So, so during the summer, we typically have a strength and conditioning program with 100 plus student athletes that are a part of that. We have different camps and clinics offered uh, in our auditorium for the fine arts. We have a, a summer marching band opportunities. There's, there's numerous different opportunities throughout the course of the summer. And we're just waiting on the, the governor. We're waiting on um, our local uh, administrators to make some decisions around what that might look like. Um, is it uh, the gym is open for open gym and, and we uh, provide an opportunity for 10 or less student athletes to come in and make sure we uh, implement the, the distance learning. We've talked about a sanitation plan 
uh, if we're utilizing the weight room uh, and what that might look like, we're also talking about uh, a virtual summer program and what that might look like. And so there's numerous conversations around uh, what that look, might look like. If in fact we're not uh, have, having the opportunity to physically meet uh, in a gymnasium, in a weight room, uh, on, a, on a field, then we will provide some type of opportunity. Our coaches do a wonderful job and fine arts uh, uh, leaders do a wonderful job and on, on communicating and what that might look like. So we continue to have opportunities for um, our, our, our students at North High. And I'm assuming that as an activities director for the high school that you would typically get some kind of summer break along with the students. Well, you just listed there's so many different things going on. Do you, do you think that will be the case this year or do you think the work grind will just continue into the fall with trying to come up with all this stuff that the students are able to do? Well, you know, we're, we continue to evolve and, and, and find out different ways to uh, communicate, to work together, and the summer will be, be no different. Um, I'll continue to talk with uh, all of the coaches, all the fine arts leaders. We're going to work on implementing uh, the fall of 2020, um, some common language in the activities department, some common themes, working in uh, collaboration with the uh, uh, Inside Out Initiative through the Jody uh, Redmond through the Minnesota State High School League. There are also some wonderful ADs in the state of Minnesota that are AD partners to the Inside Out Initiative. Uh, and so I'm going to reach out to them and work on some with students, faculty, coaches, and a few administrators to really dive into the Inside Out Initiative uh, driven by the Minnesota State High School League and uh, incorporate those uh, core values into the, what we're going to do here at North High in the activities department. So to your question, yes, we will continue to stay busy throughout the course of the summer, uh, not only from programming standpoint, but also behind the scenes, developing some core values uh, uh, to hopefully implement in the fall of 2020. Last question I have for you then. So what are, what are you most looking forward to being able to do when quarantine breaks and things get back to normal and you're able to go back to the office or I guess you're in the office at this point but go everybody going back to the office uh, similarly you know what I really miss is seeing um, you know a student athlete uh, make a free throw and be excited about it I miss the parents in the stands uh, cheering on our student athletes I miss uh, a goal being scored, uh, you know, in overtime in soccer, and and students in the in the stands celebrating uh, together, and so just that somewhat normalcy of, of what we had uh, um, prior to this COVID nineteen thing, I'm excited just to get back to some of that. I know it's going to look much different. Um, in saying that, um, we're going to try to make it as normal as possible. We're going to try to prevent uh, provide those continuous opportunities for all of our students. You know, I continually think about um, our student athletes um, from a, a nutrition standpoint, from a mental health standpoint, from um, not only student athletes, but all, the, all of our students in, in general. And, and uh, uh, the class of 2020, you know, we just wanna continue to support them. Today at North High, we have a cap and gown. We're handing out cap and gown uh, via social distancing. So we have, uh, uh, families driving through and we're handing that off. Uh, we're working behind the scenes on a uh, 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 academic and athletic scholarship reception, a senior scholarship reception, which will honor uh, our Athena Award winner, uh, the most valuable student athlete as a male and female, and also the Metro East Conference uh, uh, academic uh, um, student athlete, uh, all conference academic, which uh, that student athlete in the course of the last four years needs to have a 3.65 or above. And so we're working on some things to uh, make sure we honor uh, those student athletes and, and uh, participants at our high school that have gotten a scholarship to move on to uh, uh, additional things after high school. Sounds like you've certainly got your hands full despite the circumstances. Well, you know, um, it's all for kids. You know, I want to make sure our kids are safe. And um, any any time we're going to implement anything at our school, whether it's from a, a, a athletic facility or behind the scenes on a Zoom, are our student athletes being supported um, from our coaches, from the caring adults in their lives? And that's what's going to matter first. 
Um, and if that's happening and, and we're checking in, whether it's a Zoom like we're doing now, David, or a phone call to, uh, to check in just to say hi, that matters. And so um, when, I, when we talk as a, uh, once a week as a coaching staff in our distance coaching plan, uh, we talk about the things that matter and, and we wanna make sure those are happening. Absolutely. Well, Jed, it sounds like you guys are continuing to do a lot of awesome stuff for North High School, for the district, and I wish you the best of luck going forward on that. And thank you very much for taking the time to have this Zoom meeting with me. No problem. And thank you for your time, David. Uh, go Polars. And we're thinking about you, the class of 2020. All right. Thanks, Jed. Take care. Have a great night.